Welcome back, everyone. In the next series of podcasts here, uh, in other words, I'm not going to cover it all in one here, but I want to talk about, we talked about uh, a couple podcasts ago about what AJAX is. Uh, we talked about some frameworks. And now what I want to do is a series of podcasts that kind of tie this together. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to build uh, essentially an image gallery uh, using AJAX and then also a little script that's available for download called Slimbox. And uh, I'm going to show you how this works. And again, we're going to divide this out. But uh, let me go ahead and start with the end result. And this is what we're going to have. As you can see, I built a web page here uh, that's fairly simple. But what it is is an image gallery. And instead of your traditional HTML image gallery where you go to a different page to display each image, on this one, when I click on an image, it simply loads into the browser. So, um, and I have, uh, looks like kind of a Polaroid kind of frame around it. I have image three of 24 here, and I can close it by hitting X. The other thing that you can do with this is if I open an image, it does have previous and next buttons as I hover over the image that will dynamically load the next large image into the display. So you can see when I move to the left, I get the previous button, and when I move to the right, I get the next button. And uh, also worth noting, and I know this is a screencast, so you can't actually see what I'm doing, but I can use, uh, see how the little N on next is underlined and consequently also P is underlined over here. And close has the letter X next to it. I can hit X to close on the keyboard. Or without even using the mouse at all, I can use N for next and P for previous. And also you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to kind of scroll through here. So it makes it kind of nice. Um, what's really cool is all of a sudden we feel less like a web page and more like an application. So if I wanted to, if I was presenting to a group of people and I wanted to present some slides, I could build something like this uh, that would be very easy to use that uh, you know, could be run online if you wanted to. So anyway, so we're going to spend the next couple podcasts going through this. This is part one, and I'm going to show you how this, uh, how this thing is built. So watch the next podcast.